Hey everyone, I've got an awesome Chinese braised beef recipe for you tonight. Uh, this is a great winter dish served over hot rice. I'll show it here using a pressure cooker so you can do it in under an hour, but if you just have a wok you can also do it. It just takes about two hours to cook. So the beef I like to use for this is, in Canada it's called finger meat. Uh, what it is actually is meat between the bones of beef ribs. Uh, but things like like blade and whatnot will work well also. Uh, basically any beef that's good for slow cooking. And so you just cut it into some cubes. So we're just going to put the beef in a nice big container. And then we'll add some cornstarch, or if you don't have any flour works as well. Uh, we just want to shake it up and make sure all the beef is nice coated. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to shake it up a little bit here. And try to get everything evenly coated. You can see that's not bad. Next, uh, we'll heat up the pressure cooker and just put a little oil in the bottom. I like to use sesame oil, it gives an interesting flavor, uh, but any any sort of high smoke point oil will do, canola oil, vegetable oil. And so we're just going to start by browning all the beef. So once it's heated up, you can just pour the beef right in there. And this will take about uh, five or six minutes here. We just want to make sure all the beef is nicely brown and thanks to the cornstarch you'll get a nice uh, a nice brown coating sort of on the bottom of the of the pot which actually gives a lot of flavor so just a, a bit of salt and pepper here for seasoning there we go and we'll just stir that up and let it go for another few minutes here So you can see with the, even with all this oil, this stainless steel pan, it will stick quite a bit. Uh, sorry about the steam, but... So we'll remove the beef, just set it aside on a plate for now. And you can see we got this lovely foamed on the bottom. So we're going to add some flavoring here. Add a little bit more oil if it's all gone away. And then we'll just add some aromatics. So to start, just some chopped up garlic. And I like to grate ginger in. If you don't have a nice microplane grater like this, uh, you can chop it as well. Just make sure the pieces are pretty small. But I find grating it brings out the flavor very well. And then, have some chopped green onions and I'm gonna put about half of them in and I'm gonna save the rest of them to put in at the end because these are gonna get cooked to oblivion here so we want to leave some that are less cooked so they'll have a little bit of crunch to them and cooking all the aromatics will take a couple of minutes here and we're just gonna add a few more seasonings here uh, this is five spice powder if you don't have it, you can use constituents as well, but um, try not to use things like whole star anise because they're hard to separate out of the out of the stew afterwards, so it's kind of nasty to chew on them. So just a generous amount of five spice powder, and I like to put in some cayenne pepper to give it a little bit of heat. If you've got small bird's eye chili, that works well also. And after a couple of minutes, you can see everything is nice and, and cooked. And we're just going to deglaze the foam now. I like to use a mixture of mirin and apple cider vinegar. But if you have a nice sherry or something, that works well also. Again, sorry for the steam. So the idea here is just to splash in just enough liquid uh, to dissolve some of the foam. And you have to put some elbow grease into it, kind of scrape it up with your spoon. And if you've done it right, you'll be able to actually see the metal of the pan underneath. So we just want to re-dissolve all this, uh, this lovely browned stuff on the bottom, which can give a lot of flavor to the rest of the dish. So there you see, I've got, I've got most of it up there. And you can see the bottom of the pan. So I'm just going to add the beef back in. And 
and we're gonna put some liquid in. So I like to use chicken stock. If you got beef stock, that's fine as well. This is homemade. And just crank the stove up and bring it back to a boil. And while we're doing that, we're gonna put some more flavoring in. Uh, this is dark soy sauce. You can use light as well, but dark really has a great flavor that comes out when it's heated. Uh, light soy sauce is more of a condiment. This stuff is great for, for cooking things. And just a tablespoon of brown sugar. And we'll just stir that up. And because it's gonna be pressure cooked for about another hour, um, we wanna taste the sauce now. So just give it a little taste, add a little bit more salt if you think it needs it, and just stir it up and bring it to a boil. And if you're doing a pressure cooker, make sure you fill it up to the minimum line. Uh, pressure cookers don't work properly if you don't fill them enough. And we'll just let that go for about 50 minutes. And 50 minutes later, this is what we get. So the beef is lovely, it's nice and tender, and it's very fast. Just got a little bit of Sichuan pepper here. And I'm going to thicken the sauce a little bit uh, with some cornstarch again. So just a spoonful mixed with some cold water until it's nice and homogenized. And then we'll just pour that into the pot and, and bring the heat up again. And we're going to want to try to reduce uh, a little bit of liquid here. So I'm going to bring this back to a boil and just try to concentrate some of the liquid. This may not be necessary if you started with more meat. Uh, I only used about 700 grams of meat here. If you start with a kilo or a kilo and a half, you probably don't need to. And we'll add the rest of our green onions. And so these don't get cooked really, um, so they stay nice and crunchy and add a little texture. And that's the result. Uh, this is a great dish in the winter. and. It's quick and easy to make. Serve on top of rice. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy.